So when buying a product online, you don't always get what you expect. In this video, I'll help you decide which liner to choose. Let's start with the one in the center. This is the C2 Summit Reactor Thermolite Extreme. This is the large version. It comes in two versions. The large is 235 centimeters and the normal one is 210. Now that might seem like overkill, but you do want to have some extra space for comfort because ideally this liner you should be able to pull over your head just like a sleeping bag. On my scale it weighs 450 grams which is a little bit more than specified 422. They also say it adds up to 15 degrees of temperature rating to your sleeping bag. Now keep in mind this will not make your summer sleeping bag into a winter sleeping bag. If your rating is at zero degrees you shouldn't trust this liner to change it into minus 15. That being said, there's still some value in using a liner. It will help to add some warmth to your sleeping bag. It will help it stay clean for longer. And for me, it helps with moisture management. As you're sleeping, you're also sweating and this will absorb most of it. Of course, the moisture will evaporate into your sleeping bag and into your tent as well but this is just an extra line of defense. At 450 grams, this is quite heavy. This is half the weight of a sleeping bag, but for me, it's still worth it most of the time. Let me show you how it looks. This is just a very nice, stretchy fabric. It's 110 grams per square meter. It has a hood over here, and it also has a draw cord that you can use to tighten it. One thing I don't like about it so much is that there's no way to see what is up and what is down. So right now it's also inside out. To save weight, there's also no zipper in here. So that means you need to put it on like one big sock. That's the easiest way to do it. First you get into this and then you get into your sleeping bag. And once you're in it, it's really fine. It's very comfortable because it is very stretchy and it is quite roomy as well. Looking at the foot box, if you can see, it is nice and big. So I would say this is a good choice if you don't mind the weight, if you don't mind the slightly higher price of it, it does make your sleeping bag more comfortable. It keeps it cleaner and it adds some temperature. So next up, I expected this one to be better. This is also from Sea to Summit. It is their fleece version of this liner and it should be just a little bit warmer. Uh, this one is plus 18 degrees instead of plus 15. It is also a little bit lighter, although it is bulkier. It doesn't come in two sizes, just in regular, no large, which should be enough, but unfortunately it isn't. Let me show you around. So just a few things that I do like. There is a zipper. It's, it's a short one, but still it's enough to help you out. There's also a draw cord that you can use to cinch it down. However, there's a big issue with it, and that is the foot box is tiny. I have no way of fitting in here with my shoe size, and I think if you have a shoe size 40, you will still find it difficult to be comfortable in here. The material is different, so it's not as stretchy as the previous one. It does stretch just a little bit. And that, unfortunately for me, is a deal breaker because the last thing he wants is for your feet to be uncomfortable in your sleeping bag after a long day of hiking. You want your feet to be as comfortable as possible, but in here they just feel very, very restricted. So that's why I kept the tag on it. It will be going back. Third option, also from Sea to Summit, this is the premium stretch knit. It is the traveler version, which is a long rectangular shape with also a pillow insert. Material is slightly thinner. It is stretchy, just like the red one. And the shape of this bag is just different. It's rectangular and it has a pillow insert, which is great for traveling. If you're looking to stay at a hostel or a hotel, it does come in various sizes. You have the standard, the double, the long, and the mummy. 
for camping i would generally recommend the mummy if you're comfortable with that but again this one is a little bit more versatile downside of the larger shape is of course added weight this one comes in at 340 grams which still makes it the lightest one of the bunch so as always thanks for watching if you haven't done so already hit the subscribe button and then watch this video next